You guys are all fucking beasts, man. Holy shit. This is fucking ridiculous. Good job. Holy cow. Finishing freaking strong. Woo. 830. He made it. Woo. Woo. <laughs> hey. I've activated beast mode and I'm gonna finish like a champion. But it's been a wild journey. 1,200 people raised their hands from around the world, perfect strangers, people in Finland and Ukraine. We've got, you know, Tosh in India who's running marathons in his living room. We've got a huge contingent from Australia and New Zealand and North America, the miles, kilometers, biking, doing planks, push-ups, so many different ways that people took on the calendar club. What's up, Calendar Club? Day five. Day six. Day eight. Day 10. Day 16. Day 20. Oh. Hell. Hell five. Yeah, hell five. Sounds 50% sure I'm gonna throw up. I'm, in, I'm deep in the pain cave. Because it's Calendar Club, and because it's like Groundhog Day here, I get to do that all over again, plus a little bit more. We're all in this together, and I need a haircut. Thinking about all of you who raised their hands this month and said, I want to test myself. I want to push my limits. I want to grow. I want to evolve. How many reasons to do this? I don't know if I can count them. The only one that really matters is testing yourself and seeing what, what you can do and how you can show up in this world. I want to do this because I want to do enough things day after day that are really uncomfortable. I think when you find something that's scary, that you don't think you can do, and then you go beyond those limits and you do those things, that's when you grow the most. I never thought I'd do anything like this. I am definitely in the hurt locker this morning. My legs feel so heavy. And my feet feel like they're on fire. This is one of the toughest, hardest challenges I've ever had to do. Amazingly hard on the body, just as well on the mind. And, uh, one thing that I continue to tell myself is it doesn't get easier. I only get better. When I push, my body responds. Hundreds of miles in, deep in the pain cave, somehow able to go further than ever before because you challenged, shook loose the story in your mind. You let this community tell you a new story. Diving deep into your own psyche, finding flow states, finding power beyond the fatigue. Something strange just happened. I just tapped into a part of me that I've never seen before. Serious hidden reserve of energy behind pain. Some scales in your head get tipped in a different direction. And all of a sudden you're not thinking about the pain. It's the most in the present moment flow state experience I've ever felt in my entire life. Places in our bodies and our minds and our spirits where we're ever powerful, ever present. That is a gift. I wanted to find limits for a while. I think I found some. And uh, it broke me down for a couple days, but you know, the goal is you get up, get out of again the next day. During March, I battled out um, what this pandemic meant for me and my business through my head. And in April, um, I'm just letting my body battle it out by pounding miles on the pavement. And um, it's giving me clarity and mental stability to just keep going and keep putting one foot in front of the other started this thing trying to figure out how in the world I was going to keep uh, an eating disorder and uh, depression at bay in the middle of quarantine. Could not have imagined a better past 30 days. Although COVID created separation, the Calendar Club really created connection. I really think all you guys, uh, some invisible force is blowing some tailwind in my back the whole time. It was just awesome, glorious. I cried a lot. That was odd. Really odd, but <laughs> say thank you, Calendar Club community, for our support, message, motivation. It's just been really cool to be a part of a community that has um, rallied around each other and met each other where they are. I never felt like this is living. This is this is it. This is living. We just completed a total of thousand miles for our team. Yes. Woo! I think I've changed for the better. So. Parts of my body that hurt before don't hurt anymore for some reason. It's brought me back, the person I was before I got sick with cancer, and I've been looking for something like this, I guess, for the last five years. I showed up, and that I'm me again. I did it. 
30 miles. Thank you, Colin. <laughs> it's one marathon. <laughs> I can't believe that I've gone this far. You've proven to yourself what is now possible. What maybe before seemed impossible, you have proven you are capable, you are strong. This month, forging yourself in the furnace of adversity, it's a conduit for opening up and unlocking the power of the potential that lives inside of you. Now, what are you gonna do with that newfound strength? It gives me so much optimism for tomorrow. If anything that I take away from this, I've got a tremendous amount of love to give. This experience has changed you. You now have a new lens. You have a new level. You have leveled up in your grit, your perseverance, your determination. But what you've proven to yourself that you are limitless, that you can achieve things that you maybe never thought possible. The medal that I get at the end of the day with this is that I reminded myself that I can do hard things. And I just proved to myself that I'm a beast and I can build a greater life than what I've been living. All right, that's the end and the beginning. It's a wrap. Thank y'all so much, y'all. Y'all so bad. Yeah. That's a wrap. Calendar Club, done. So what's next? <laughs> <laughs>